Hello everyone, welcome to the Nick Tech Show. Today I'm going to talk about um, how to get Kick Messenger uh, on the iPad a, well, kind of native look on the iPad since everyone knows Kick is available uh, is a social, um, like an MSN type thing, MSN Messenger type application that a, it's some odd reason a lot of people use. I don't really understand it that much, but as you can tell when you go to the App Store and look for it in the iPad, you can only get the iPhone version. And that's what you download, is the download version on your iPad, okay? This will, as I know of, this trick to make it native on the iPad will work on an unjailbroken device. You just have to have a computer that will, a, a computer and a program uh, like iExplorer for your computer software that will allow you to view the system files of your iPad because you must have have that, or if you're on a jailbroken device like I am, you can easily use iFile, or a program that allows you to navigate through your device's um, system files. So, this is what it will look like if you make it well it is natively on the iPad. As you can see, it's full screen completely full screen on the iPad, even when you rotate it, it's still full screen on the iPad. You don't have to have that little iPhone keyboard and type messages out. Okay? As you can t uh, with this trick, there is some issues with like this, where it will show your profile like this, your settings, but that's, that's, that's okay. And if you go back and you want to send a new message, you can send a new message, search for name, and different things. Okay? So, and when you send a message, this is what it'll look like, okay? As you can tell, you still can do things. Let's say... As you can see, it's got the full iPad keyboard, even when you turn it. It's got your full iPad keyboard, but that happens. That I do notice happens when you have it like this, but when you have it like this, and like I said, you get that black bar. Only when you try to type like that, that black bar will show up and we move that. That I do notice happens on the, the iPad, but there's one fix to it where you just type like this. Type like this with this vertical, not horizontal. If you type like horizontal, that happens. So let's restart the app and show you that if you type like this, you gotta get it popped up. And voila, and then you send it. And that's how it looks on the iPad. When you do this, that stays like that, so you'd have to tap in if you um, disable the keyboard, move the keyboard down. Or when you tap, tap on it, keyboard pops up, and you tap on the screen, it pops up. Um, you still can add all your different things, and everything works. Like I said, it does have bugs. I will just tell you that it has bugs and stuff. But you, at least if you use it a lot and you use it like this, you can be saved by using a full native iPad keyboard instead of the um, iPhone version. And 
As some users know, usually if you swipe over, you get a bunch of different options. That will not work on the iPad. So you might ask, how do you do this? Well, like I said, if you have a program on your computer that allows you to view your system files on your iPad, then you can do it. Or if you have a jailbroken iPad, you can use iFile. So you go in iFile and you, you go to your applications folder that is located in var, var slash mobile slash applications. That's where you find all your applications that's in, currently installed on your iPad. Okay, so you'd have to go through this and find this. I think that's it, yes. It's, I already know which what it was, that's why I, I, I knew which application to. When you see that you have four photos and two files, you'd want to go into the kick app. And then you'd scroll down all the way until you see info.plis, I think it is. Info P list. Info P list. That file. Info P list. You'd open it up and I'm going to say text editor and go to edit. Then you just go all the way to the bottom, zoom, and where it says key UI device family slash key, and then down um, under array, it says integer cha on, on, change that number to a two if you're on an iPad. Like I'll show you. Where is it? Right there. Where it says, right under UI device family, you would change integer, the integer to two on for the iPad. And then you would save it and click done. And then you would respring your device. I use the um, respring app. And you respring to your device. And then you, well, I like to close the app before you Respring, I always do that. You click that, respring, close the app, respring, and after it resprings, it should load up the iPad version. The iPad well, you, I don't, natively iPad app, if you want to call it, but it's really an iPhone app. And as you, when it loads up, you'd see it should be like this, full screen. Like I said, if you type like this, I think it like beginning. Yeah, you cannot type horizontal for some odd reason. But you can type vertical just fine. So there you have it. How to make Kick Messenger look good on an iPad. Hope you liked the video. Hope you like, share, and comment on this video if you liked it. And subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. Find out more videos like this. And I have where you can find us below. Links below where you can find the computer group and all that. And, and, all, and how to make money on your Android and Android iPhone, iPad, and iPod, how to make money on them, and a link below to a Facebook event that we are hosting next month. You might want to check that out. We have the link below. And another person you want to um, check out is the person that's going to be hosting the um, our event. Um, for Doorman Studios, I have his link below. You can check him out. And that's about it. So, hope you guys have a nice day. See ya!